This actually works. Tapping here and here. No way. That's crazy. It's all there for real. I came across a review channel talking about a certain app. It caught my attention, so I decided to check it out and see how it actually works. These days, a lot of people are looking for ways to get free crypto, and I'm still testing different methods. Sometimes you find something that actually works. <laughs> and yeah, there's a promo code involved, so I'll be testing that as part of the process too. First, let me show you how to access the app. I open my browser, type in the name, tap the link, and just like that, we're inside. Nothing extra, it opens right away. That's already a smooth start. Once inside, the app takes a moment to load and sync with the game. It's quick, but you'll need to give it a few seconds to finish connecting everything in the background. I've been working in IT for seven years. I enjoy digging into how apps are built, how they behave in real scenarios, and how safe they are to use. This video isn't sponsored, there are no links, and I'm not giving financial advice, just a technical walkthrough. I'll show you that promo code in action a bit later. Starting off, the interface feels clean and very straightforward. No annoying pop-ups, no registration, no strange access requests. Everything seems to run inside the environment directly. That's a good first sign. Now let me tap through some of the features. This part loads fast. Here too, switching over. Everything looks stable so far. And here's the promo section. I was gonna show you the code now, but actually let's test a few things first. I'll come back to it in a moment. I tap here, wait a second, and it works. Now I quickly switch to another app, press a few buttons, enter what's needed, confirm, and then return. Everything processed smoothly with no delays. Back in the main interface, I open another screen and everything feels smooth. Even when switching quickly, the app responds right away. I'm pressing around a bit more just to see how it holds up under more interaction. And yeah, still stable, still responsive. After that, I moved on to the next phase to see how the app handles more active interaction. I start the first round, everything responds smoothly, no issues. I change the pattern a little and run another one, still stable. Crypto apps like this show up all the time. Some work well, others don't. I've tested dozens of different methods over the years, from classic airdrops to mining Bitcoin on phones. Every time, I'm just looking for something new that could actually be functional. So here we are, checking this one manually. One more, and again. No hiccups. That's a good sign, especially for crypto-related apps where things often start breaking under load. A little later, I get a notification. The system suggests unlocking an extended mode to continue. That caught my interest, so I decided to check how that part is implemented. I head over to the necessary section, switch to another app, tap a few buttons, enter some info, confirm, and then return. The process was fast. All right, back to the promo section. I've got a few codes saved, some work, some don't. If this one doesn't, check my other videos. I usually drop working ones there. Let's try this one. Typed it in, tapped confirm, and yes, it works. No glitches, no errors. Looks like the system accepted it just fine. Now I see the interface has slightly updated and everything is available again. No limitations, I can continue normally. Now moving into the final stage. I complete the last few steps. Press here.
then here. Everything responds instantly. Throughout this entire test, the app stayed consistent. No crashes, no strange behavior, no suspicious requests. Even after switching away and returning, it remembered where I left off. That kind of technical stability usually shows that the app was properly built and tested. I went through the whole thing, from first launch to the final step, and honestly, the app held up. Every feature I tried worked as expected, and even the extra functions performed without any trouble. That's rare to see with free crypto methods or experimental platforms. Also, the promo code I used earlier worked perfectly. No glitches, no rejection, it went through right away. And often, it's these little things that tell you whether the app is still being maintained or just left hanging. Here, clearly, it's maintained. I go back, and I see the result right where it should be. Just to be sure, I refresh. And yes, everything is there, nothing missing. So yeah, I ended up with a really solid impression. I'm not telling you to go and try it. That's your call. But if you're into crypto and want to understand how these things work under the hood, this kind of walkthrough might help. Just remember, always check things yourself like I just did. That's how you spot what really matters.